just want to welcome all of you to the Hot Careers in Healthcare. We've got a lot of great information for you tonight. My name is Joyce Sanders. I'm the admissions manager and I'll be moderating. So if anyone throughout the course of these presentations has any questions, we're going to ask that you put those in the chat and then I'll let our presenters know and we'll get those answered towards the end of each session. But uh, with that, I want to go ahead and turn it over to our presenters. So it's great, everyone. My name is Nora Sylvia. I am the Assistant Dean for Health Professions and Public Service. And tonight we're going to be presenting to you regarding our CNA program, our massage therapy program, and our medical assistant phlebotomy program. So we'd like to go ahead and get started with our first presenter, Denise, who is our massage therapy specialist and our uh, professor of massage therapy. I'll let her go ahead and get started. Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming. Um, right now, the massage therapy profession, there's, um, it's amazing how it's booming even in a, during a pandemic. Um, and we're going to get some slides up here for the presentation in just a moment. But we've got a 688 contact hour program. And um, the state um, re minimum requirements are 600 contact hours. So we go well above that. And um, we have a very comprehensive um, science-based program. So you will be taking biology, um, neuromusculoskeletal, where you're looking at exactly where the muscles attach on the bones, and um, pathology. So in terms of if someone has a specific <clears throat> uh, medical condition or they're taking certain medications, how does that affect how the body functions? And massage has an effect on how the body functions. So we, we need to know, um, you know, how they both interact together, massage, the medical condition, and the medications in order to work with someone safely. Nora, I can go ahead and, and do these first couple of ones. So um, the reason that we decided to do this uh, presentation in particular is because we have learned from our prospective students that there are a high number of you that are interested in the healthcare field. We know that particularly in this COVID environment, the need for healthcare workers is going to continue to grow. And the completion times of our programs, as you'll hear within um, these presentations tonight, there's a lot of variance as far as how long it takes. And we wanna give you all of the different options. So one of the reasons that we think it's a great idea to study at Wabansi is because it's affordable. Um, you can apply for financial aid. So for the 2021 academic year, um, our scholarships were already awarded. The ones for 21-22 have also been awarded, but through the FAFSA, it's a option for you to get some financial aid at the federal level. But because our tuition is low and we have lots of different payment plan options, um, we think that this is a great affordable option for you. So just a little bit of a comparison with our neighbors up the road, um, Wabansi's average tuition at $132 per credit hour means that um, over the course of the year, you'll be at around $33.60 for your tuition, where the closest Illinois public university to us would be NIU. They're at $12,163. And then the closest private four year is in our backyard, Aurora University, and they are at just under $26,000. So you'll see uh, quite a bit of a difference there between the institution types. And so as you'll learn from our outstanding faculty that are here today, they are all experts in their fields and practitioners in their fields. So that's one of the many reasons that you should consider their programs. We really do have state-of-the-art facilities and real-world equipment. So all of the things that you'll be using in your industry once you graduate and get to work. Lots of hands-on training in these areas. Um, you know, in the medical profession, we need you to have that hands-on training so that you have the skills that you need and you're able to be employable when you finish your credential. We're an exceptional educational value. And for those of you who get into your classes and might need some additional assistance or support, um, one of the big supports that we offer is tutoring and test prep, and those are included to you at no extra cost. And so with that, we'll let Denise take it away. Okay, so this is our massage therapy program. And um, this is the, that was the 20, can I see the last slide, Joy? Um, the, our, this last group in that picture, we've got one person who used massage therapy as a stepping stone into physical therapy. We've got a couple who went into the, the spa industry and then someone that wanted to be an entrepreneur and work out of her home. So in terms of massage therapy, um, you know, typically people who 
are interested in anatomy and physiology, how the body functions, and um, interested in helping people with all our healthcare professions. Um, so that is who tends to be drawn to this profession. And the massage therapy certificate is a nine month certificate. So you'll start in August and you'll graduate in May. And um, we pay, we collect your state licensing fees in your student tuition so that um, you don't have to save for your state licensing fee. We're doing that for you. And we pay for that with that money so that right when you graduate, you can take your state licensing exam, which has really um, helped with um, pass rates for our students. So again, you've got um, people working in various um, settings, private practices, hospitals, sports organizations, um, but also thinking about people, massage therapists work with different populations of people. So maybe someone wants to specialize in prenatal massage. Maybe they wanna work with athletes. Maybe they wanna do geriatric massage. So there's a lot of different avenues. Um, and I just named a few. There's so many different avenues that you can take this career. And so my background is, um, I'm a, I have a degree in mathematics and computer science. I also have a dance performance degree and I have a master's degree in kinesiology with an emphasis in biomechanics. And so I added um, massage therapy to that. And so when I work with clients, I work with them from a, a biomechanical perspective so that they can work, they can function as efficiently as they possibly can. And um, yeah, we're really excited about our program and our facilities and we've got a video for you. The American Massage Therapy Association stated that $16 billion was spent in the massage industry, and that is expected to grow by 4% per year. We're a school member of the American Massage Therapy Association. We're a school member also of the Associated Bodywork and Massage Professionals Association, and we're an assigned school through the National Certification Board in Therapeutic Massage and Bodywork. My personal experience was that the, the program was thoughtfully designed and crafted so that an individual would be ready for workforce employment right off the bat and also it it made us ready for the licensure exam. I'm doing the massage therapy program to hopefully set a really solid foundation for hopefully one day becoming a chiropractor and then after that I'll see where you know, the world takes me. It's such a diverse field. You can really take it in any direction that you want to. You can be in a medical setting, you can be in a spa setting, you can kind of create your own niche. So a lot of people have combined occupations. One of the greatest things about massage therapy is you can be your own boss and you can also work for someone else. 40% of massage therapists own their own business. So they're small business owners and they take a, a business class here and when they leave they've got a full business plan and they're ready to go. The, the faculty really does a great job of getting you on your feet and get out the door so that you can start employment right away. We've got faculty with diverse educational backgrounds. They've worked in a variety of settings. And not only are they an expert in massage therapy, but they're also an expert in the subject matter that they're teaching. With uh, Denise Nakaji and uh, the other faculty members, they were very willing and open to spend some time with me to explain any certain concepts, theories, or any um, clinical applications like techniques. The Therapeutic Massage Program is a 32 credit hour program. It's 688 contact hours. The curriculum consists of hands-on courses, so you've got three hands-on courses, you've got two clinics, you've got a neuromusculoskeletal class, a pathology class, a business class, and an ethics class. So it's a well-rounded program. Uh, this is a little bit about our medical assistant and phlebotomy programs at Wabonzi. Lisa Geese is our medical assistant um, professor and she couldn't be with us tonight. So I'm kind of filling in a little bit for her but she gave me all of her little notes. So hopefully I can answer some questions for you. 100% of our 2020 medical assistant graduates attained employment in 2020. It is a very hot topic at this point. Medical assistants are used in many, many areas, they're in high demand. And our one-year cohort program begins in August 
with the application deadline June 1st for 21, 2021 for a fall start. Um, our graduating students have many choices of employment opportunities in the medical field, and their salary has become pretty competitive with sign-on bo bonuses as well. It's projected to grow 17% over the next seven years with hospitals, diagnostic laboratories, blood donor centers, and other locations looking to hire both medical assistants and phlebotomists. Our phlebotomy program um, helps our, our students with real time, and I think we have, oops, with real time, um, practicing in our, our lab that looks just like a diagnostic laboratory. And they also have an internship where they will go out and have to do quite a few, what we call sticks in our laboratory, in our laboratories within a medical field so that they can get the opportunity to be licensed. We have a great number of students in both of these areas, and it is a very, very lucrative uh, pos uh, possibility for them. Um, let's show you the video, uh, and that might give you a little bit more information about uh, lobotomy and uh, massage therapy. Hi, my name is Lisa Geese and I'm the Program Director and Instructor for Medical Assistant and Phlebotomy here at Wabansi Community College. I'd like to invite you to take a look around our state-of-the-art lab where we have exam rooms and phlebotomy rooms set up just like an actual office would be. Our electrocardiogram or EKG machine is just like the ones found in medical settings. Our students learn to measure electrical signals in the heart. The EKG shows if a heart is beating at a normal rate and strength. A glucometer is used to measure how much glucose, a type of sugar that is in the blood, also known as blood glucose level, is often used to help people with diabetes manage their condition. A urine analyzer is a device used to perform automatic urine testing. This machine can detect bilirubin, protein, glucose, and red blood cells, which can help determine or confirm a medical diagnosis. Our students also learn to perform a variety of laboratory rapid tests. For example, influenza A and B, mono, and blood typing. The medical assistant lab also has an autoclave. The autoclave sterilizes instruments by using heat to kill microorganisms such as bacteria and spores so that these instruments can be used in minor surgical procedures. I wish you luck on choosing your medical career that's right for you and thank you for joining us today. Medical assistants perform a variety of important clinical and administrative tasks to keep medical practices and clinics running smoothly. Wabanzi's program includes a student externship that provides valuable hands-on experience. 8% job growth is projected for this field over the next seven years. Average wages for new graduates range from $36 to $41,000 annually. In 2020, all of our graduates found employment and between 2016 and 2019, all of our medical students passed the Certified Medical Assistant exam. Our program was rated as one of the top medical assistant programs in the state of Illinois. Students learn in our state-of-the-art labs where they gain competencies in both a classroom setting and through hands-on experience. Our program takes just one year to complete and at $132 per credit hour, Wabanzi is an exceptional educational value. Our beautiful Aurora Fox Valley campus is home to the program with the same equipment found in real world medical settings. Our partnerships with area medical facilities give our students a top-notch externship experience. Please visit www.wabanzi.edu slash medical assistant for all admission details. Phlebotomists draw and prepare blood and are employed in a variety of settings. 
The program can be completed in just one semester, including 120 hours of clinical externship. Students learn not only how to draw blood, but also to process the samples for testing. Opportunities for this program are expected to grow 17% over the next seven years. Graduates with a higher certification and ample experience often earn up to $43,000 annually. Classes are taught by knowledgeable faculty using the same equipment and supplies that students find on the job. Daytime and evening classes are offered to help fit your busy schedule. Our lab simulates an actual medical setting. Wabansi's partnerships with area medical facilities provide students with hands-on experience in phlebotomy. You may begin this program either in the fall or the spring. Registration for this fall opens May 3rd. Please visit our website for more information. Or you can email the program director with any questions you may have about our medical assistant and phlebotomy programs. Okay, and we are back. Um, so I'd like to go ahead and move on to um, our CNA program. Okay, hi, my name is Pam Proggs and I am the um, instructor and the assistant professor for nurse assistant at Wabansi. Um, I wanna just talk to you a little bit about um, the CNA program that we have at Wabansi. Um, one thing that's huge, just like Nora was speaking about medical assistant is the need and the demand uh, just continues to grow. Uh, with CNAs. Uh, there's jobs at every nursing home in the area. Uh, it, I, it really doesn't matter what time of year it is, um, there's a job opening. I have uh, students that are in my class right now that have already started uh, at some nursing homes. I think eight I want to say six of my students that are working right now have already started working in the nursing home that where we're doing our clinical. So if you're worried at all about whether or not you'll get a job after uh, the CNA class, absolutely not. There's always um, there's always jobs. Um, the the one thing that I did want to mention too about CNAs is that it's the one healthcare career that's one class. Tim, I I always tell everybody that CNA is a great way for you to find out if healthcare is really what you want. A lot of people go into CNA as they're getting their prereqs for nursing. So if you're interested in nursing and you're starting your prereqs, sometimes people will take the CNA class so they can start working as a CNA while they're taking their prereqs and know for sure that this is something they wanna do um, because you find out very quickly in my class whether or not uh, you like to take care of people. Uh, we offer an eight week and a 16 week class. The eight weeks classes run in the summer and the 16 week classes run during uh, the school year. But within just a, uh, literally within four weeks in the summer, you will be in the nursing home taking care of residents, um, getting a really good idea whether or not this is for you or not. Um, some of the stuff that we do in the in the nursing home is uh, some basic nursing procedures, food service, body mechanics, care of a person with Alzheimer's disease and related dementia. Alzheimer's is a big, big part of our our program, um, and it seems to be the the residents that the students fall in love with the most. Um, I don't. I, well, I'll just let the video tell you the rest. And then if you have questions, I'd be happy to answer some questions after the video. Welcome to the CNA Lab here at Wabansi's beautiful Fox Valley campus. My name is Pam Brooks. I'm the Assistant Professor for Nurse Assistant Skills and Allied Health. The lab is a replica of a room that you would see in a nursing home or hospital. We have six hospital beds and a simulated bathroom with shower. And I am excited for you to see some of the equipment that our students use to prepare for their clinical rotation. In the CNA lab, the students learn and practice with two different mechanical lift devices. 
These devices are used for patients or residents who are either unable to bear weight or who lack the strength or muscle control to rise to a standing position. Both of these devices are routinely used in nursing homes and are an important part of the training we do in the lab. Students are able to practice with this equipment in the lab before our clinical rotation begins. Another important skill that our students practice in the lab is vital signs. Vital signs include temperature, pulse, respirations, and blood pressure, and are an important part of the monitoring of a resident's or patient's health. Students in Wabanzi's Nurse Assistant Program gain hands-on practical experience in long-term care facilities. Students earn the credit hours necessary to complete the program in one semester. Employment opportunities for certified nurse assistants are plentiful and the demand is expected to continue to increase. Our program is flexible with daytime and evening classes offered at Aurora Fox Valley and the Aurora Downtown campuses. Hybrid classes combine classroom and online learning. Last fall, we offered our first ever hybrid CNA class with a 100% pass rate for those students who took the state competency exam. If you are between the ages of 18 and 24 and are in need of financial assistance, you may be able to get your tuition, fees, books, and supplies paid for through the Wabanzi Works or Illinois WorkNet programs. Theory and lab are taught in the first part of the semester. After that, students gain clinical experience in an area nursing home at least one day a week. Thanks to our well-equipped lab, there is ample opportunity for students to practice skills before beginning clinical in the nursing home. All supplies and equipment are available for students to practice the 21 skills required by the state of Illinois. Check our website at www.wabanzi.edu slash CNA for detailed information on our application process and requirements. Our staff is ready to answer any questions you may have. So for any of you that may be interested in what your next step would be, if you have never taken classes with us before, you're going to want to fill out a new student application so that we can get you your X number. And that's needed so that we can move you forward with the rest of the steps in getting started with these programs. So in the chat, I'm going to put down the web address for filling that form out. It's wabansi.edu slash apply. It'll take you about 10 minutes to complete. It's not necessarily a commitment or, or locking yourself into anything. It's simply getting you a student ID number so that you can continue to move forward should you choose to. And if you have any questions after we finish our presentation tonight, you can always meet with an admissions advisor. We are doing appointments either on our campuses, Aurora Downtown or Sugar Grove. We'll do Zoom appointments or phone appointments with you as well. Um, so we'd be happy to, to talk with you and help you with getting started. Okay, well, we thank everybody for signing in tonight. We thank you for taking the time to hear about our programs. Uh, we thank our presenters tonight. So Nora and Denise and Pamela, thank you so much for coming and talking about your programs. And again, um, just if you think that you want to go back and watch this presentation again, we will send out the link to the email address that you gave us on your RSVP so that you'll have that to go back and view at any point in time. Thank you again, everyone, and have a great rest of your night. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.